I'm gonna get you. Don't worry. Now don't come any closer. I'm letting go. Oh. Why would you want to do a thing like that? Now you're not fooling me. You're one of them that's been following my trail. Well, I've been following you, but only because you're trespassing on our ranch. Will you leave me be? Just go away. Leave you be? Just. Just hanging there? Well, I'm not gonna be hanging here for long. I'm ending my troubles here and now. And I'll be ending them a lot sooner if you come an inch closer. You can't do that. Take a look down there. It's a fur piece. Now, I'm warning you. Keep away. Now, you, you come any closer and I, I'm gone. I ain't... I figured on coming no closer. I just thought I'd get this crowd off its feet. Yep, if I was you, I'd sure reconsider that jumping business. You know, the, the fall ain't gonna hurt you bad, but that landing's gonna be mighty squally. But the only thing I've got left, hanging's no good. It means there's that gun. Hanging? Was you trying to use that hanging noose on yourself? What happened? Oh, the poor horse ran out from underneath me, all right, but the limb bent down so far I was just standing there with that silly rope around my neck. Is that your rifle back there, too? Yeah, I thought I had that rigged up perfect, and all I did was blow my hat clean over here. That's the way everything has gone lately. I can't get no work, I can't get nothing to eat, I can't even kill myself good. Tell me, when was the last time you had a square meal? It's been so long since I had any shape of a meal, I just couldn't even tell you. Well, under those circumstances, I can't blame you much. You know, I can, I can put up with a whole lot of things, but going without food ain't one of them. What'd you say your name was? I didn't. Well, don't you reckon you ought to tell me? We won't have to put something on the tombstone. Oh, yeah. My name is Waldo. Waldo Watson. Mine's Cartwright. Most folks just call me horse. You, uh, you got any kin you'd like me to tell? No. Nobody. <clears throat> well, Waldo, if you are dead set on going through with this, let me give you a couple of hints as where you ought to head for. Like, I figure if you gave a hard enough kickoff, you could probably make it to that dry creek bed over there. You making fun of me? Oh, of course not. I just wanted to, just wanted to wish you luck, that's all. I'll be seeing you. Someplace, someday, I reckon. Just eat ready. Right <laughs> mm. 
Where are you from, Mr. Watson? I'm from no place in particular. <laughs> Waldo's from back east, Paul. <clears throat> Waldo, pass the milk, please, please. You're a sure thing, Hart. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I can't do nothing right. Oh, Waldo, sit down. Ain't no harm done. Finish your dinner. Sit down. Excuse me. Waldo, wait. Oh, just, just sit down. Let him, let him collect himself. He's had a lot of troubles. I thought you could eat more than anybody, but that Waldo eats like he invented it. Oh, I see. Uh, looks to be a pretty healthy individual. Do you really think that he was going to commit suicide? Oh, I don't know, Paul. I'd like to think that he wasn't going to really jump, but when I saw him standing there on the edge of the cliff, I, I figured that he could fall accidentally. I run down to grab him, and we got to wrestling around, and he finally saved me from falling and knocked himself out done it. I feel real sorry for him. He's had lots of troubles and no friends to help him out of them. And you figure to be the one to do it, huh? Well, why not? We can give him a job. Not permanent, but just something to keep him busy until he gets back on his feet again. Oh, you like like that fellow you met at the carnival. Well, you really got him on his feet. You got him on his feet well enough to run away with the silverware. Yeah, or maybe he's like the prospector you brought home. He's looking for a grub steak and he found it in the strong box after we all went to bed. All right. I made a mistake about them too, but Waldo ain't the same. I, I got a feeling about him. I think I kind of know what he's up against. A fella as big as he is, Outsize, he he just don't fit in places that regular fellers fit into. You can't hardly keep him being a little clumsy every now and then. That burn it, you go to pick up something that just ain't big enough to hold on to. Oh, I, I know he ain't the the best company in the world, but I'll I'll keep him out of you fellers' way, and I'll I'll pay him out of my own pocket. Nobody said he couldn't stay. You let him? That's one thing, Hoss. He said he was in some kind of trouble. Now, I think it'd be a good idea to know if there's trouble with the law. I'm not saying it is, but I think we should know. Yes, sir. You're right. I'll go have a talk with him. He's been bringing strays home ever since he was old enough to walk. It's a good thing we don't have more room. He'd bring them home two at a time. Well, he's got a big heart. Nice evening, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, what's nice about it? Oh, what? What's eating you, anyhow? Everything I do is wrong. I'm gonna be moving on, horse. Huh. There ain't no need in that. We need a good hand around here for a few days. Ah, and... uh, that wouldn't work, horse. I've tried hiring out on a ranch before. I can't handle it. I'd be nothing but trouble. Well, maybe, uh, maybe me and you could sort of look after each other. I'm, I'm always getting in trouble myself. Well, if, uh, if you don't, I'm going to have to turn you into the sheriff for trespassing. Huh? Ain't no reason you wouldn't want to see the sheriff, is there? No, sir, Hoss. It, it ain't nothing like that. It might be easier if it were. But I swear to you, it ain't the law. I'll take your word for it. We want you to stay, Waldo. I'd sure like to, Hoss. Just, just for a day or two, just to rest up and get a fresh start. That settles it. Come on, I'll show you where you bunk. Hey, horse. Uh, 
After tonight, I think I'll eat in the kitchen. Why? <laughs> it's closer to the food. <laughs> that ain't such a bad idea. Maybe I'll join you. <laughs> What are you staring at? Haven't you ever seen a couple of good men working? Are you two looking for a needle? No, we ain't looking for a needle. Paul wants some of these rotten timbers replaced, and we gotta move the hay so as we can get to them. Now, I know that sounds terribly complicated to a fence mender's mind like yours, but it ain't really. I ran into Nancy Collings down the road. She wasn't heading this way, was she? No, but she was asking after you real kindly like. When are you gonna give her a break? Ha! Give her a break. Get myself hogtied for the rest of my life? <laughs> Not me. Mm -mm. Well, can you think of any other woman you'd rather be hogtied to? Look at him. I'll take care of my business. You take care of yours. All right? Waldo, let's shore up these braces a little more. Get the toolbox away. Yeah, okay. Shoot them up. just about it, Mr. Cartwright. I, I just plain lost her. Well, you, you mean be, between here and that tree over there, you lost a horse? See, Paul, the way it happened was, well, we was going to put that shoe on him just like you wanted. And Waldo went over there to get him, and... Well, he got him. But then coming back, he... Well, he he thought he saw a four-leaf clover down there on the ground. He's going to pick it up. And so when he bent over to... Paul, we'll find him again. We'll get him for you. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not going to have you two chasing my best stallion into the next county. I'll find him myself. Let's go in. Okay, I got one more piece, Hoss, and then I'll throw it all inside.
sorry for all the things that happened today, and I know Waldo is too. He's been down here apologizing himself, but he's tired, and he went up and went to bed to get a good night's rest. Oh, good. I can't wait to see what he's going to do with us tomorrow after he has a good night's rest. What do you mean tomorrow? <clears throat> Boss. I hate to be the one to have to say it, but well, I think we ought to put a stop to this before something really serious happens. I mean, so far it's only been an unscheduled bath for Joe and a headache for Adam. You know, blisters for me, but... A horse won't admit it, but his big toe is black and blue, too. It ain't that bad. Oh, but you will admit that we didn't get very much done today, won't you? Well, yeah, Paul, but it's only because Waldo was trying so hard. That's why he makes all the mistakes. Now, horse, <laughs> none of us here has anything against Waldo. And we certainly don't want to, don't want to see him go off empty-handed. As a matter of fact, I, I'd be very happy to contribute to a fund to help get him a fresh start. Count me in. Me too. Well, it's really for his own good, Hoss. Hey, you know, next week, we start Roundup and... Well, I, I don't think he should be with us. I mean, he might get hurt. Sure, Paul. Thank you for letting him stay as long as you did. I'll go up there and tell him to get it over with. Oh, George Carling sent over a message today. That lumber we sent in to be milled is ready and waiting, so if you boys can go to town tomorrow and pick it up. The horse ain't gonna like that much. Every time that Nancy Collins gets near him, she tries to hog time. Yeah, you just mention a name, he shies like a spooked horse. Well, don't worry about us. Leave me be. Now leave me alone! No! I, I, I ain't gonna... I ain't gonna do it! Leave me alone! Whoa, whoa. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Everything's all right, Waldo! Leave me Waldo! Waldo. have been dreaming. Who was that that you thought was going to kill you? Excuse me, I, I must have been dreaming. Was there something you wanted? Well, uh, yeah, uh, Waldo, I, I wanted to talk to you about, about you working for us. Oh, I, I've been meaning to apologize for everything I've done wrong today. I know it don't seem like it, but uh, I sure am grateful for everything you've done for me. <laughs> That's the first bed I've slept in for, well, quite a spell. It sure seems good even to have a roof over my head. <laughs> oh, uh... oh. You tell him. Obviously, you're in well, you're some kind of trouble. Wouldn't you like to tell us about it? Maybe we can help you. No, I couldn't do that, Mr. Cartwright. If I did, then you and your sons would be involved, and you've been too good to me already. I, I couldn't bring that on you. No, I'll move on. <laughs> well, no, no. There's, no. there's no need for that. Uh, Walter, why don't you... Stay around for a couple more days and we'll see what happens. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. You, uh, you sure there ain't nothing we can do for you? No, I'm afraid not, horse. There's not, not much anybody can do. 
Uh, except maybe get a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. <laughs> good night, Ross. Bigger than I figured. Yeah. It's gonna be harder to find him than you think, Weaver. Well, a man that big is likely to go unnoticed. Are you sure he's got the money? He's got it. If he's smart enough to skin you out of it in the first place, he may not be as dumb as you think. Look, Mr. Waldo Watson is as dumb as they come. And when we find him, he's gonna be as dead as they come. Supplies director, Mr. Collings, and uh, Nancy can come out and supervise the uh, loading of the lumber. Yeah, we figured that was the only reason you came to town with us in the first place. I should have known you two grinning snakes was up to something. Well, it's not our fault. Everybody knows that Nancy's out to marry you. If you two leave me alone with her, we're going to have a little head bashing. I'll see you around the back. Get up! He really gets fidgety when Nancy's around, doesn't he? Well, you can't blame him. She's been trying too hard. He said he wasn't going to go to the dance Saturday night because he wouldn't be able to get away from Nancy. Oh, that's no good. Hoss likes to dance too much. You know, Joe, I think poor old Hoss could use our help in this situation. Yeah, like how? Well, one thing about Nancy. She likes big men. Like Hoss. Like, uh... Like Waldo. Yeah. Some. Wayne Nancy's taken up with old Waldo. You getting jealous? Getting what? Jealous. Now, that's what we told Nancy you'd get if she paid a lot of attention to Waldo. You told her to do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess it worked, didn't it? She doesn't hang around like she used to, and Waldo seems to be enjoying himself. Yeah, we did you both a favor. Well, yeah. <laughs> Reckon you did at that. I wonder what they're talking about. Like lumber. It uh, seems that Waldo worked in the lumber yard back east, and he knows quite a bit about it. That's a fact. Well, he's gonna have to. Nancy knows more about lumber than a woodpecker. Here they come. Uh, boys, is it all right if I borrow Mr. Watson for a few moments? I know Pa would love to meet someone who knows so much about wood. Well, don't worry, Nancy. We can handle things out here. Are you, uh, sure it's all right, Haas? Oh, uh, sure, Nancy. You, uh, you go right on, Waldo. We'll, uh, we'll load this lumber by ourselves. Uh, I, I can help you load it if you like, boss. <laughs> Waldo, you go ahead and enjoy yourself. Well, thank you, Haas. Yes, sir. Uh, if you get through loading up the wooden time, come on in for some lemonade. Shall we, uh, go, Mr. Watson? Oh. You can't say Waldo's good for nothing now. Oh, that's right. Because that leaves us to load all the lumber while he's in there sipping lemonade with the lady. Well, don't worry about it, little brother. I'll load the lumber myself.
Now remember, Hoss, so you promised to bring Mr. Watson to the dance. Uh, that's very kind of you, Miss Collings, but <laughs> I ain't much on dancing. Huh? Oh, we'll get Hoss to teach you. He's one of the best. He'll be there, ma'am. Glad to have met you, Mr. Watson. If the Cartwrights ever let you go, come see me. I can use a man like you. Thank you, sir. Don't forget Saturday night. We'll be there. He! Yeah. Nice young fella. Knows his lumber, too. Mmm, and he's so tall. Why, he's even taller than Haas. Come in right handy around here. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't he, though? Now, it's easy, Waldo. Just watch my feet. It's easy, Waldo. You pick it right up. <laughs> See that? See how easy it is? Now you try it. Here, hold her tight now. There she is. Now, you gotta, you gotta hold her other hand, Waldo. Loosen up. You know, bend your knees. There you go. Now, kind of put a little swing in there. You know, there you go. That's the way to go. Am I getting it, horse? Very good. You put them light on your feet. <laughs> Just remember to stay good and loose. <laughs> Not that loose, Waldo. No, I just can't do it, horse. I just can't do it. Maybe we shouldn't have tried the walk so soon. Now, maybe we shouldn't have tried any of it. I'm not going to make it, Hoss. I just know I'm not going to make it. Now, come on. Quit talking like that. That's the way you've been about everything lately. Look, I used to didn't enjoy dancing, neither. Till Adam taught me how. <laughs> this is some time of my life for me to learn dancing. You, uh, you do sort of like Nancy, though, don't you? <laughs> yes, sure I do. She ain't about to be interested in the likes of me. Now, there you go underselling yourself again. Now, Waldo, you promised me you was at least gonna try. All right, I'll try. Yeah. Now, tell you what let's do. Let's try that Virginia reel. You almost got that down in. Okay. First, don't come on forward and back. Good. Forward again with a two-hand swing. I gotta cut in. Forward again with the right elbow. Keep that one. Forward again with the left elbow. Down right professional. Forward again with the right elbow. Card right place, all right. Fits the description you probably give us. Well, let's take a look around. Fits. Stay with the horses. All right. Mm -hmm. Be very careful that you don't step on. <laughs> no mistakes this time. And remember, just wing him. I don't want him killed before we find that money. Action. All right, Watson. <laughs> What 
What's going on there? Let's get out of here. Catch him this way. He just got a crease pull. I don't think he's hurt bad. Better get him into the house. All right. You took a real chance there, Waldo. Keep me from getting hit. You're lucky you didn't get nothing worse than just your hair parted. Well, they weren't after you, but you sure could have got a hurt on account of me. Waldo. Now that we're in this with you, Waldo, I think we should know what this is all about. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell you, and then I'll be leaving before they come back again. Well, we'll discuss that after we've heard your story. Well, there's not much to tell. I grew up in a big city back east. We never had much, so I went to work in a lumberyard when I was just an overgrown kid but I still couldn't make much money. And then a man offered me $25 for one night's work. <laughs> so I took it. One night's work? Well, yeah, it was, it was a fighting in a ring, you know, bare knuckles. You were a, a fighter? <laughs> the way I've been handling myself around here, I don't blame you for not believing it. I I'm not half bad when I get in a ring and I know what I'm doing. <laughs> that first night... I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, I made a pretty good show, and I, I stayed in there for 23 rounds. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd say that was pretty good. Well, after that, I got some more fights. And I did better once I got to know the ropes. I even had me a manager. But that's where the trouble started. How do you mean? Some gamblers moved in, and without my knowing it, my manager made a deal for me to throw a fight. He'd taken the money before he even told me about it. Well, sir, I didn't know what to do. He'd been awful good to me, and I didn't want to get him in any trouble. But I sure didn't want to cheat those people and lose that fight on purpose. Well, it wouldn't have made much difference what I decided. I got in the ring, and I just naturally had to do my best. I won it. I knocked the man cold in the 19th round. Well, you didn't do anything to be ashamed of, Waldo. You did the right thing. <laughs> yes, sir. I suppose so, but those gamblers didn't seem to think so. I still couldn't bring myself to blame it all on my manager. So I just started running. And then coming out west seemed like the best thing to do. Only they, they came too. They meet our friends in the barn. Yeah, that's a gambler named Weaver and... and Two hired guns. They think I've got the bribe money. And Weaver's got orders from the head man back east to get it. And then to get me. Waldo, this, uh, this has happened to you before, huh? <laughs> yeah, a couple of times. I, I'd just about given up when you found me out there on that cliff. And I'm not going to stay around here and see one of you get hurt on account of me. <laughs> and besides, if I leave now, horse, I don't have to go to that dance. <laughs> Waldo, sit down, please. You know, we've worked pretty hard to get some law and order in this part of the territory. There's been some bloodshed in the doing of it. And we're not about to let any cheap tin horn gamblers from the east come out here and shoot up our place and try to kill an innocent man and get away with it. Paul's right, Waldo. You can't just keep running all your life. Besides, those fellas ran pretty good when they found out there were five of us instead of just one. Guess they just didn't like the odds, huh? Well, there it is. We'll talk to the sheriff. What about it? All right, sir. <clears throat> I, 
<clears throat> I just don't feel too much like traveling anyhow. <laughs> Some story, huh, Paul? Yeah. It sure is. If it's the whole story. stay horse i've been thinking about this all night long it just ain't fair to you and the others if i stick around yeah i reckon i was wrong about you all along then waldo what you mean well i mean all this time i i've been defending you to my family tell them that there's something different about you that you're worth defending as a friend as a man but like i say i i reckon i was wrong but, Hoss, it's my fight. Your fight? It ain't just your fight. It's ours, too, now, Waldo. Just like my pa said, we ain't gonna let them tin-horn gamblers come in here and push us around. Let me tell you something. We're gonna take care of those fellers, and we're gonna take care of them whether you're here or not. But, Waldo, you keep right on running. You just keep on running, Waldo. We don't need you. Boss? What's for breakfast? I don't know. But whatever it is, me and you will have a double helping. We got a hard day ahead of us. Come on. I sure wish we could have followed those Jaspers, but you can't follow tracks in the middle of a river. Well, Sheriff Coffey be on the lookout for them. I don't think we'll have any trouble. Boss? Come on, boy, let's go. Be down in just a minute, Paul. Now, hold still, dang it. Horse, do we have to go? Yes, we have. You don't know my Paul very well. He ain't about to change his mind over some two-bit gunslinger. No. I'd rather be facing them gunslingers than a dance hall full of people. Ah, turn around here. Ah, oh, you're going to be the king of the whole shindig, Waldo. Here. Now, heel and oh, and away we go. Take Hoss. Okay. Don't worry, Nancy. I'll take Blue Joe. Good evening. Good evening. Mr. Watson, we were afraid you weren't coming. Did you come to watch? Do you plan on doing some dancing? Come on, Little Joe. You're with me. Ooh, ooh. Nancy Sue, you won't hear me complaining. Shall we, Mr. Watson? Yes, ma'am. Watson? Nothing, ma'am. I, uh... Well, I'm not very good at this dancing business, and, and especially not in front of all those people. Oh, well, I know just how you feel. In fact, I hate crowds, too. Besides, we can have our own dance right out here. <laughs> ma'am? That is, if you don't mind. Oh, ma'am. This easy? Now, aren't you glad you came? Yes, ma'am. Waldo, don't you like the name, Nancy? Oh, I sure do. I, that's a real.
pretty name. Then why don't you use it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Nancy. Nancy, ma'am. Nancy. 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 I, I, I never felt like this before. Me neither. But I sure do like it. Nancy, I, uh, I, uh... Not a sound, Watson. Let's go. Hurry it up. You too, lady. If you stay here in case anybody else comes looking for him. Keep your hands up and your mouth shut. Let's go. I'm out of this. I won't give you any trouble. Aldo, what's the matter? Who are these men? They ain't nobody, Nancy. They're cheap gunslingers. You stay out of this or you get a busted skull. Look, I'll go with you. I'll do anything you want. Just don't hurt either one of them. All right. You hand over the money, and we'll see about your friends. I don't have it! You're the only one who could have it. We knew that for sure when your brother turned himself into the police. Now, come on. Why don't you make it easy on everybody? My brother did what? That's far enough. Well, what about my brother? Grab him. I... You listen to me. I want to know about my brother. And I want that money. Now, start talking. Look, he, he told you he didn't have it. His brother told us differently. I, I didn't tell you about him, Horse. I, I couldn't. Perhaps I ought to fill you in a little bit. His brother was his manager. They planned it together. That ain't so. You're lying. I left town to take the blame off of him, horse. I, I swear it. You gotta believe me, horse. I believe you, Walter. You can quit running now. No, it's... It's too late now. It sure is. Oh, no, it ain't. Swing your partner! Waldo! Nancy? Step aside, horse. You take care of Nancy. This is my dance. Go see the Waldo. <laughs> That's almost more fun than dancing. <laughs> almost. Nancy? Uh, 
Is she all right, boss? Oh, yes, yeah, she's gonna come to him. She's all right. Oh, ain't she pretty, horse? Yeah, name she ain't. That sure is a good party in there. Anything wrong? No, I'm wrong. Why aren't you in there dancing? Just don't feel like it, that's all. Well, you ought to. Well, Mr. Weaver and his friends are locked up tight at Walter Watson. He's a changed man. He and Nancy are in there dancing up a storm. That's for dang sure. She don't dance with nobody else. That's what you wanted, isn't it? What? I thought it was. You thought it was? You're jealous. I'll be a cockeyed mule. You're jealous. Paul, it's just that well, I didn't realize how dead burned pretty she was. Oh, so help me, Hannah. You're all alike, aren't you? You, little Joe, Adam. Why, when it comes to females, none of you know it's a good thing when you see it. It's only when the other fella sees it. And then it's too late, isn't it? No, 